Judge Word Game! If you like saunas, you're gonna love tonight's prize. Our winner will walk away with 200 hours of sauna fun from Fat Jack's House of Steam. <laughs> All 200 hours must be used in one visit. Okay, cover your ears, Ed. Okay, Red, you've got 30 seconds to get Animal Control Officer Ed Fritt to say this word. Confidence. Confidence. Yeah, all right, Mr. And go! Okay, Ed, if you see somebody strutting around and bragging, you say that person is full of... Alcohol. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, when a company is hiring, this is the main thing they look for in their employees. Desperation? Uh, now, you work with animals, right? Oh, yeah. Now, now, what is it that you have that allows you to do that? Medical insurance. <laughs> now, this, is, this, is, this is like a characteristic, like, like a leadership quality. This is what leaders have. Oh, oh, contempt. <laughs> no, no, this, no, this is a good thing, Ed. I mean, if you had this, you'd be a completely different person. Sex change? <laughs> uh, you guys are almost out of time. Yeah, I know. Okay, Ed, remember when you had that cougar cornered in Flinty McClintock's bar? Like, I know there was a big fight, but at the end, you got that cat into the cage, right? That took a lot of... Blood transfusions. <laughs> uh, let me tell you, if I knew that was no, in no, the okay, barn, I okay, wouldn't... Okay, 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 Ed. What is it about you that makes you a good animal control officer? Nothing. I hate the job. It scares me to death. But I don't have the confidence to try anything else. In the talking animals portion of our show, local animal control officer Ed Fred is going to tell us all about foxes. That's right, Red. Yeah. Or as they're known in the scientific community, vulpes, vulpes. Wow. What does vulpes mean? Fox. So, so the scientific name is fox, fox. Seem a little redundant to you? Well, not if you got one chasing you. Give me a little. Fox, fox, yeah. fox, fox, okay. Okay. fox, all right. fox. All right. All right. All right, Ed. I understand. Okay. Well, why don't you bring him out here? Hmm? Okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, Red, you know, uh, it's a she. Oh. And uh, you're supposed to refer to the females as vixens. I'm not doing that. Thanks anyway. <laughs> and, uh, just get the fox for us, me. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know what? Something else I just remembered is the foxes aren't really all that sly. Mm -hmm. No, that's just a myth. Mm -hmm. I find that, uh, you know, their intentions are, are very clear. <laughs> Fox Ed? You got it. Yeah, right. You got it. Mm -hmm. You know, Red, um, I think most people already know what a fox looks like, right? Ed, you're doing a segment on my show about foxes. I think we need to see a fox. Of course you do. Yes, thank you. All right, for those of you here in the studio audience, I would caution you to not make any sudden moves or cross your legs in such a way that the animal could mistake you for a chicken. <laughs> Easy, oh easy, oh boy, easy, oh boy, oh boy, okay, oh boy, oh boy, easy. Oh Don't anybody panic. No, all right, easy, all right, okay. Good. Good. All right, there you go. Okay. <laughs> That's a dog, Ed. It's a member of the canine family, yes. This is a fox terrier. Well, let's not argue about semantics, Red. You told me you were bringing a fox and you bring a fox terrier? Well, this should be good enough. I mean, it's got the word fox in it, you know. And, uh, just use your imagination. I'm paying you a hundred bucks and you bring in a fox terrier? No, uh, you're paying me 200 bucks. No, I I'm paying you a hundred bucks. Just use your imagination. It's time for the Possum Lodge Word Game! Today's winner will receive free boxing lessons from Tucker's Manufacturing, makers of the finest cardboard boxes. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, cover your ears there, Ed. Fred, you've got 30 seconds to get Animal Control Officer Ed Frid to say this word. Instinct. Instinct. Yeah, all right. Wait. And go! Okay, Ed, this is something that almost all animals have. Sharp teeth. <laughs> Okay, no, no. This is what animals use to find their way back to somewhere they've been before. Oh, oh a trail of blood. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, okay. 
This is something that animals have that humans don't. Uh, antlers? <laughs> no, antlers. okay, okay, Ed. Why do salmon swim upstream? A panic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you ever see their eyes? Or... <laughs> Ed, Ed, Ed. They're, they're not afraid. They swim up to their spawning grounds, they lay eggs, and they die. Now, what characteristic makes them do that? Well, stupidity. <laughs> Uh, Red, you guys are running short yeah. on time. Oh, I don't know. Okay, Ed, you're an animal control officer. What's the difference between you and the animals? Well, I can outrun them. <laughs> you know, but that's just my survival instinct. There we go. <laughs> now, in honor of New Year's, we have a special presentation by local animal control officer, Ed Fred. Ed, tell everybody what we're up to here, will you? Well, I was asked to make a presentation involving animals, yeah. one that would kick off the new year to a good start, and uh, I think I've done that. <laughs> Don't seem very enthused, Ed. Well, Red, normally this is my vacation time, a time to be away from animals, a time to reflect and review the results of my various medical tests. <laughs> How do those medical tests go? Well, the flea and tick thing turned out to be nothing. But, uh, and the hoof and mouth came back negative. <laughs> Rabies is the big one. <laughs> We're all hoping for the best. To me, that's all the more reason to have a big celebration now. So tell us about it. OK. Well, I thought it would be a good omen to release a flock of doves to start off the new year. Yeah. You see, the dove has been a symbol of peace since the days of Noah's Ark, when it returned to the ship with an olive branch in its claws. Yeah, actually, you know, you owe, you owe a lot to Noah because his ark saved all the animals from being extinct. I <laughs> hate Noah. OK, all right, OK, all right. Uh, you know what, I, let's, 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 not, let's not dwell on the negative here, Ed. Let's just, let's get on with our presentation, eh? Is there anything I can do to, to help release the doves? I would recommend you stand well back yeah. and cover your eyes with something. Okay. Preferably something harder than a dove's beak. <laughs> and once they get up in the air, you know, they get easily excited, so I wouldn't stand under them, okay? okay. Well, I, we're all ready, so let's release the doves. Yeah, we don't go when you're ready, we go when I'm ready. Yeah. yeah okay. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Thought we had an understanding hey, no, here, Red. Okay, no, okay. I'm okay. Fine. I'm good. You go when you're ready. All right. All right. Let these doves mark the beginning of a peaceful and prosperous new year. Well then, I guess the time has come for me to make my New Year's resolution. And I've decided to be a lot more specific this year. Usually, I promise myself something like, I'm going to lose weight, or start my own business, or have a conversation with my parents. <laughs> but this year, I've decided to zero right in on the problem. I solemnly swear before all of these witnesses that for the next year, and possibly longer, I will not eat peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> Period. Regardless of the circumstances, even in the case of an emergency. <laughs> this is because peanut butter has a way of sticking to the roof of a person's mouth. That can be distracting and can also impede their ability to call for help <laughs> when they so desperately need it. <laughs> now, this may sound like an odd New Year's resolution to you, but you're not an animal control officer, are you? <laughs> No, you could probably spend most of your day sitting at your desk, drinking coffee, or doing whatever was necessary to get the peanut butter off of the roof of your mouth. <laughs> well, what do you frickin' do? <laughs> I don't have that luxury. I don't work in an office. I work in the woods. I work in the woods with elk. Elk have horns. I level horns. <laughs> So that is why I promise to never eat another peanut butter sandwich again, <laughs> ever. Happy New Year. Now for New Year's, it's time for the Possum Lodge Word Game! Tonight's winner 
receive this coupon for a glorious weekend for one at Possum Lake's <laughs> oldest in the Dead Squirrel. <laughs> you can go nuts at the Dead Squirrel. <laughs> okay, cover your ears, Ed. Red, you've got 30 seconds to get Ed Fred to say this word. Instincts. Instincts. Yeah, yeah, right. And go! Okay, Ed, when you get a gut feeling about something, that's your... Peptic ulcer. <laughs> no, no. Okay, no, this is something you do without thinking. You become an animal control officer. <laughs> okay, Ed, Ed um, when your dog buries a bone in the backyard, what's kicking in? His hind feet. <laughs> No, actually, this is something that you see in every animal. Oh, teeth. <laughs> no, no, this is, this, is, this is deep inside an animal. Oh, a veterinarian's arm. <laughs> uh, you guys are running out of time, man. Yeah, boy, you know, I don't know what I can tell you. I, I don't think you're going to win that weekend away. Well, that's okay, Red. I didn't really want to stay at the dead squirrel. <laughs> That in stinks. <laughs> it's time for the Possum Lodge Word Game! Tonight's winner receives this coupon for two tickets to the Possum Lake Little Theater production of The Best Little Warehouse in Texas. <laughs> it's the story of a woman and her rise to the top and the forklift operator who tried to put her there. <laughs> All right, cover your ears, Ed. Oh, great. Okay, Red, you've got 30 seconds to get Ed Frid to say this word. Track. Track. Yeah, all right, Winston. And go! Okay, Ed, if you get a call to capture a ferocious bear that's on the loose, the first thing you have to do is... Give it a really big head start. <laughs> no. Okay, no, 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 no. This is a word that, that stands for what the bear leaves behind on the ground. I'm not saying that word on television. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about the pause. Oh, long. Yeah, the bear takes quite a long pause to make a pile that big. No, no. <laughs> Almost out of time here, Ed. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, Ed, think train. Attack. What? Yeah, most people train their dogs to attack. To attack me. Uh, at least that's been my track record. There we go. Today on Talking Animals, local animal control officer Ed Frid has brought in a surprise animal for us. Come on up here, Ed. Come on. Come on. Oh, well, okay. I... That's right. What we have here is the single most dangerous animal in the world. Wow. Kind of a small cage, isn't it? Is this thing more dangerous than a crocodile? Oh, yeah. More dangerous than a cobra? Yeah, I know all the animals, Red. You know? <laughs> I don't just make arbitrary choices and try to back them up with outrageous claims, you know? Okay, no. I'm, no, I'm not saying that. I no, just... no, why don't you try being an animal control officer before you start shooting off your mouth, huh? <laughs> well, yeah, maybe after you've been mauled by a puma. You ever been mauled by a puma? That's not okay. the point, right. Red. Okay, yeah. The point is, at any time, I could be mauled by a puma and dragged into its cave. Well, we all have problems. I often get dragged into a mall. So... <laughs> Jokes don't work in the animal kingdom, Red. Okay, fine. Well, why don't you just show us whatever you've got here? Okay, well, that's what I'm trying to do. I didn't drag this dangerous animal all the way over here to not show it to you. So stand back and, you know, don't make any sudden moves. Oh. That's a hamster. Oh, I know. You're saying hamsters are dangerous? Would other animals pick them up and throw them at you? You know, when I was a child, I had a hamster. Mr. Winklebottom was very cute. Okay, I see. So you blame your hamster for you becoming an animal control officer. And isn't it nice for you to be able to put everyone's life into a nice, neat little compartment like that? <laughs> So you blame your hamster for you becoming... Yes, okay, yes, yes, yes. All right, yeah. And parents, don't get your children hamsters. Get them an education. Get them an office job. Get them a therapist. <laughs> oh. 
Today on Talking Animals, local animal control officer Ed Fritt is here to tell us all about spiders. Yes, that's spiders. No, 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 not spiders, Red. Who told you I was going to talk about spiders? I thought you did. Well, yeah, you thought, you thought, you thought, you thought, you thought that weasel wouldn't bite. Yeah, yeah, you thought that skunk had been descented. Yeah, yeah, and who paid the price there, huh? Yeah, 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 I think we're through making decisions based on what you think. Yeah, all right, all right. That's why tonight we're going to meet Mr. Possum. Oh, yeah. You know anything about possums, Red? Well, this is Possum Lodge. I'm the leader of Possum Lodge. We have a possum on our crest. And when I was in high school, my nickname was Possum. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. You made it to high school. <laughs> anyway, possums are very civilized animals. They don't bite you or sting you or hide in your underwear drawer. <laughs> they get this. When they're scared, what do you think they do? Huh? Play dead. <laughs> they play... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. Let's take a look at this possum. But first, I'm going to scare it so it'll act dead. All right. Boo! <laughs> okay. Take a look. I know something else about possums. They need air. <laughs> no, 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 he's fine. Uh -huh. he He's just toying with us. I think you're going to have to resuscitate him, Ed. <laughs> what are you suggesting? CPR? <laughs> no, how about mouth to mouth resuscitation? Huh? <laughs> hey, folks, you want to see Ed perform a miracle here? Huh? <laughs> Come on, Ed. There you go. <laughs> and just small puffs now, don't inflate them. <laughs> Should have done spiders. Today on Talking Animals, local animal control officer Ed Frid has brought us a wild parrot from the Brazilian coast. Actually, Red, I looked into getting a wild parrot. Uh, turns out they've got sharp, uh, unturned claws and uh, unpredictable temperaments, and sharp, untrimmed claws that are sharp. And untrimmed. All right. Well, claws. Well, then where, where does this one come from? Well, yeah. this was my girlfriend's. Yeah, uh, she uh, she named it Oprah. Wow, obviously a talker, huh? Yeah, well, that's a common misconception. Oh. Yeah, but uh, interesting thing about parrots: all parrots have hollow bones. What? Loser. Did you call me a loser? Just now? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, the other thing about parrots is uh, they've got these hooked beaks that are great for digging dirt and opening seeds. Ah, loser! Okay, okay, I guess you think that's funny, huh? huh? Do, you, do you think that's funny? Yeah, I do, actually. Uh, <laughs> it's not me, Ed, okay? It's, it, it's the parrot, see? And, and, and he's not calling you a loser. It's just a word he picked up somewhere. And ah, Fred is a loser! <laughs> Emotionally immature. Oh, I know what's happening. The parrot has picked up words and phrases that your girlfriend uses. Oh. That's the way she talks about you, huh? Huh? Oh. Oh. Well, that makes me feel better. <laughs> well, look, make it work the other way around, okay? You can use the bird to relay messages back to your girlfriend, eh? Just leave a message after the beak. <laughs> well, okay, well, what do I say? Well, it sounds to me like she's looking for a commitment, like a, I would say, a marriage proposal. I think that's what the audience wants to hear, am I right? Great. <laughs> uh, uh, honey, uh, would, would you, would, would you marry me? Ah, not until you get a better job. Today on Talking Animals, local animal control officer Ed Fred is going to tell us all about scorpions. Not scorpions, Red. Deadly scorpions. 
giant scorpions, giant deadly desert deadly scorpions. They're big and they're deadly and they kill you. Okay, okay, Ed. Yeah, well, I think we're getting that. Uh, but scorpions aren't native to this part of the country, are they? If they were, would I live here? All right. Okay. Good. Um, I, now I understand scorpions are, are, are quite clean, uh, clean creatures. Oh, good for them. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, no, I hear that. I hear they clean themselves all the time. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. So, um, what do scorpions eat, Ed? Each other. <laughs> and uh, termites. You know, the little termites. So you drop termites in there? Yeah. Ooh. Well, Ed, this, this, this is a wooden box. No, it's a wooden, it's a wooden, it's a wooden, it's a wooden, it's a wooden. Oh, you're all gonna die! Harold! It's time for the Fossil Lads! We're dead! Today's winner received this coupon for a free session at the Port Asbestos uh, Rhinoplasty and High Colonic Center, <laughs> where you can get a nose job and a hose job. <laughs> Try it, you'll breathe easier. <clears throat> uh, okay, cover your thingies, Ed. Uh, Mr. Green, you've got 30 seconds to get Ed Fred to say this word. Lamb. Lamb. Yeah, all right, Mike. Okay, and go. Okay, Ed, um, this is something your uncle shears to make sweaters. His back. <laughs> no, okay, no. Uh, Ed, where does wool come from? Woolmart? No, no. Um, okay, when you see a guy on TV and he's running from the law, you know he's on the... Board of Directors, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, okay, think, Ed. Mutton. Jeff. No, okay. In the Bible, it says, what will lie down with the lion? Dead tourists. <laughs> no, okay. This is a person that some folks actually worship, okay? If you, if you think of the mountains, you think of the Dolly... Parton. <laughs> You're almost out of time, Mr. Green. Yeah, uh, okay, Ed, this is something you've heard most of your life. Mary had a little... Headache. <laughs> No, uh, no, no, Ed, this is, this is a song. Oh, you mean like, who put the bop in the bop shi bop shi bop? <laughs> or who put the ram in the lamb a lamb a There it is! Okay, for a while now, we've been uh, doing a feature with Ed Frid called Talking Animals, uh, but apparently, uh, why, aren't, why aren't we doing it anymore? Uh, Medical insurance costs were getting prohibitive. Yeah, right. So instead, uh, we're gonna do... What are we gonna do? Wild Beast Roundup. Yeah. <laughs> Wild Beast Roundup. Okay, here with me is Ed Fred, local dog catcher and roadkill remover. <laughs> Actually, my official title is uh, Animal Control Officer. Yeah, no, I, I keep forgetting that. Maybe if there ever was an animal that you actually control. Yeah, do you want to... <laughs> do you want the job, Rand? Huh? Do you want the job? No, huh? no, yeah, no. okay, I didn't think so. Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to learn all about animal safety. Because, as I always say, animals can smell fear, but they can taste fingers. <laughs> That's why I always wear safety gloves. And running shoes. Right. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, here it is. The king of the jungle, the savage man-eater. <laughs> the furry mitten. <laughs> this is Leopold the lion. Um, hi, Leopold. Oh, hello there, Edward. <laughs> Edward? Oh, yeah, lions always use your full name. Uh, uh, Leopold, this is my friend, Red. Oh, hello there, Redward. 
So you finally found a way to get on the show without having to face a real animal. <laughs> What's he talking about, Edward? Don't you worry about him, Leopold. Here, why don't you read this letter from a fan? Here we go. Just get that thing to... Lions can read? Yeah, the talking ones can, yeah. What are you doing, Ed? Have you changed medication? I just want to teach the kids a bit about what it means to be an animal control officer. Well, you don't need a stupid puppet to do that. Hey! Just stop it. Now, we might have some kids out there who are actually interested in becoming animal control officers. So just, just talk to them, straight out. Don't. <laughs> Today's winner received this coupon for a free box of tinsel from Tinsel Town. The only store that sells only tinsel all year round. Don't forget our tinsel slogan, how's it hanging? Okay, Ed, uh, cover your ears. Uh, Mr. Green, you got 30 seconds to get Ed Frid to say this word. Presents. Presents. Yeah, all right, all right, Mike. And go. Uh, okay, Ed. You find this under the tree. Squirrel droppings. No, 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 you find this under the Christmas tree on Christmas morning. Aunt Helen. No, okay, okay, Ed, what do you always get at Christmas? Oh, hives, yeah. Okay, no, um, this is red and green in color and has a bow. Robin Hood? No, uh, okay, when you go shopping at the mall, what do you get? Bored. Now, um, and remember a year ago, what was your girlfriend hiding from you? Her other boyfriends. Yeah. <clears throat> we're almost out of time, Mr. Yeah. Green. Okay. Okay. And remember when you were a kid at Christmas, all you wanted to know was when are we opening the cages? <laughs> no, no. I mean, you know, you'd come down on Christmas morning, your eyes be wide open, and you'd say, "Wow, look at all the rats." <laughs> from the cages. Then I could really yell, my voice had a lot of presence. There we go. Welcome to Talking Animals with local animal control officer, Ed Fred. What do you got in the trap here, Ed? Oh, uh, it's not a trap, Red. Uh, it's a beekeeper's box. Oh, boy. Well, there's about a billion bees in there. Oh. <laughs> So what you gotta ask yourself is, why would anybody want to keep bees? Well, you know, for the honey. For the honey? Uh, yeah, it's not worth getting killed over a waffle topping, really. <laughs> okay, there's two ways you can deal with bees safely. One is kill them all and push them around with a long-handled broom. <laughs> or you can smoke them with a smoker. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The bees settle right down with one of these, don't they? Yeah. yeah this is good. Or better still, one of these. Oh, boy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, Look in the box and see how docile the bees are. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> oh. Oh, you got me! Ow! Whoa! Man, you gotta get the stinger out! Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Oh. Good thing he got you in some place I don't mind touching. <laughs> Hurry up and get the stinger out! Okay. Tonight's winner will receive a complimentary dinner for two at the Nurk and Fingal Pub. Enjoy traditional English fare such as fish and chips, 
made with real English fish. Sausages and chips made with real English sausage. And shepherd's pie made from real shepherds. Real English shepherds? No, German shepherds. <laughs> Okay, cover your ears, uh, Ed. Okay, uh, Mr. Green, you got 30 seconds to get Ed Fridge to say this word. He, he. Yeah, all right, Mike. Okay, and go. Okay, Ed, as an animal control officer, you know that large animals are most dangerous when they're in my tent. <laughs> okay, no, but no, but in the spring, an animals are dangerous because they're in sane. <laughs> no, you know what? That's right. And what makes them that way? That's just the way they are. <laughs> okay, no, okay, okay. Um, you can tell if a female is ready to mate because she's in... A singles bar. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, okay, Ed, when you need to get people to do what you want, you say, it's time to turn up the... Guilt. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay, okay. On a cold winter's day, your furnace pumps out a lot of... Smoke. Okay, there's an expression. Uh, get out of the kitchen if you can't stand the smell of cauliflower. All right, we're almost out of time, Mr. Yeah, Green. Yeah. Uh, oh, I know. Okay, an NBA team, the Miami Dolphins. No, 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 no. Basketball. Uh, the Miami Basketballs. Man, Ed, you're not very good at this, you know. Look at me. Your clues suck. Why should I take the heat? There we go. Word game! <laughs> and today's winner receives 5,000 gallons of natural spring water from Mercury Creek, delivery and container not included. <laughs> okay, well, cover your ears, Ed. Red, you got 30 seconds to get Ed Fred to say this word. Bond. Bond. Yeah, all right, okay. Dom. And go! Uh, okay, Ed, as an animal control officer, this is something you always want between yourself and an animal. Distance. No, okay, no. This is something you and your pet share. Oh, a heartworm. Okay, no, uh, no, okay, okay. When you spend a lot of time with your pet, you end up with a permanent scar. Yeah. All right, and let's, let's forget about animals. Uh, let, let's think about women. Can you think about women? Always. Okay, okay. This is something you want. It involves a woman, and it rhymes with pond. Blonde. No, 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 no. Okay, no. This is something you want to do with a woman. You can't, you can't think of anything? Well, nothing. It rhymes with pond. Time's almost up, Red. Uh, okay, okay. Let, 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 let's try this. Shaken, not stirred. What does that sound like? My self-esteem. Okay, uh, no, okay, okay. What do you think of when I say 007? My net worth. <laughs> but that's what happens when you buy junk bonds, you know. There we go. Welcome to the Talking Animals portion of the show where local animal control officer Ed Frid uh, is here to tell us all about I'm going to take a wild guess and say, the bear? Yes, Red. Yes. <laughs> and judging by the fact that you're not wearing a suit of armor or wetting your pants, I'm kind of assuming this is some kind of toy stuffed uh, bear of some... Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, a little jumpy there, Red, eh? <laughs> Boy, it really makes me laugh to see how some people are afraid of wild animals, huh? <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're, you're awful calm there. You, you've been hypnotized or tranquilized? Not me, Red, but he will. Oh, 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 yeah, I'm not shooting blanks, I'm shooting tranks. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, sir, Red. Bears may have claws and teeth, but I got my dart gun. <laughs> I love my dart gun. <laughs> Can I see that uh, for a sec there? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, and uh, here's a safety tip for you youngsters out there. Uh, whenever you're handing a firearm to a school chum or teacher, um, <laughs> 
turn it around so you always hand them the uh, grip first. Yeah, and, and make sure the safety's on, right? Oh, well, that goes without saying. I always have the safety on. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Uh, there we go. <laughs> safety first. <laughs> Do you think the bear has the gun? Very much so, yes. Okay, okay, don't panic, don't panic. Uh, uh, don't forget, the safety is still on. Right. Oh. 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 Okay, okay, if you stand still, he won't shoot. Oh, uh, it was just a theory. Okay. Oh, no, no, hey, hey, Ed, you're okay. There's only one dart in that gun. Oh, go! Oh. Well, uh, it was just a theory. <laughs> Welcome to Talking Animals. Special treat today is local animal control officer Ed Fred is bringing us another interesting animal, the cardboard box. <laughs> Completely wrong as always, Red. No, I was just being funny. <laughs> wrong again. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. This box contains a very rare jumping frog from the Amazon jungle. Oh. These frogs are excellent jumpers. <laughs> You're a pretty good jumper yourself, Ed. <laughs> I think he's just hungry. I didn't want to overfeed him because there's holes in the bottom of the box, and I just had my truck cleaned. <laughs> <sighs> Don't ever transport a wild turkey in the front seat of your vehicle. <laughs> Especially around Thanksgiving. No, I don't see that. So what does a jumping frog eat? Oh, flies. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I always keep a few on me. Oh, and now you got something to feed them to. <laughs> Rather than desperately trying to be funny, why don't you hold the box for me? Oh, yeah, all right, sure. All right. Oh, go oh, careful, careful. Oh. Okay, <laughs> they love flies. Yeah, yeah. To this frog, each fly is like a filet mignon. Oh, yeah? I never had a filet mignon, but I love frog legs. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Watch out! Okay, easy, easy. Put him down, put him okay, down. Okay, 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 he's settling down. All right. Okay, he'll yeah. be okay for yeah. a, a few moments. Okay. Boy, he's got some strong leg muscles, that guy. Oh, eh? yeah. Oh. And when they see a live fly, they yeah. go really nuts. Oh, wow. That's why I only use dead ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, 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 they're not all dead. Uh -oh. Yeah. oh, okay, uh, I'll distract the frog. You shoot the fly away. All right. It's a frog! Hello, oh, come over, look over here. Yeah, yeah, come on, he's back. Okay, got him, got him. Okay, here, hold him. Yeah. Don't let go. Okay. I don't, I don't think he's in there, Ed. Huh? Oh. Well, where is he? <laughs> what? Shh, 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 shh. I think he's in your pants. Oh, 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 oh. Well, he said they love flies. Well, tonight, um, local animal control officer, Ed Frid, is gonna tell us how he likes to unwind after dealing with animals all day long. Ed? Well, uh, I like to have a couple of pops and get out a few animal traps. You know? <laughs> That's my hobby. Kind of a strange hobby. It's a lot like your job, you know? I mean, a hobby is supposed to help you take a break. Take a break? Harold, do you think grizzly bears take a break, huh? <laughs> You think rattlesnakes have a social club where they go to drink tea and play cards? No, 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 no. Snakes can't shuffle. <laughs> right? They can't shuffle. They're snakes. There's no, they can't shuffle. So, um, what is it about uh, animal traps that appeals to you, Ed? You know, is it that you feel trapped by your job? I'd rather not say. Okay, well, then maybe you can tell us about this one. I see your trap is open. You should talk. Okay. Uh... <laughs> this is a leg trap. Uh, it's a Colin and Brunton 1937 Palmaster 75. Wow. You know, it looks dangerous. Should you be handling it like that? Is it, is it is dangerous? Oh, oh, yeah, very much so. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, this one is rusted open. <laughs> yeah. Urine will do that. <laughs> How do you know urine did it? I'd rather not say. 
Now, uh, here's a very important trap. Oh, OK. We use this for catching the cleverest animal known to man, the raccoon. <laughs> That's a cat. It looks like a cat. <laughs> like I say, raccoons are clever. Oh, yeah. okay. Now, for a commercial fisherman, there's uh, lobster traps. And uh, this one, this is one used right here on Possum Lake. Well, I, I thought that lobsters were saltwater crustaceans. Uh, yeah, but around here, a fisherman can make a pretty good living pulling up snowmobile gloves. <laughs> okay. Now, say you want to catch a mouse. Well, that'd be great, because then we could feed it to this raccoon. <laughs> okay. Well, well, this is the best. This is the Ratmaster 500, and it's got a couple... <laughs> God, God! You know, I uh, saw something the other day that made me start to think that maybe I'm a loser. What did you see? Full length mirror? <laughs> Thanks, Red. No, a guy I went to high school with made the papers. Oh, I've been in the papers several times. Yeah, in the be on the lookout for section. Any publicity is good publicity. All right. Uh, they had a big article about this guy. Oh, yeah. No, I hear you. Nothing worse than seeing a picture of somebody, you know, standing in front of the opening of their new Mercedes dealership. No, no, this guy, he graduated when I did, but he was in the obituary section. Oh, boy. Yeah. My first reaction was a, a deep, sincere, tearful laugh. <laughs> you blew it, buddy. <laughs> Cigarettes don't look so cool now, do they, Mr. School President? <laughs> and then it hit me like a wild raccoon. That guy was three years younger than me. Well, you said he graduated when you did. Yeah, and you never failed a grade? Anyway, it made me realize I'm living on borrowed time. Better living on prison time. Yeah. I could go just like that. I could go at any time. It's beyond my control. I could just go, and that would be it. Yeah, well, when I feel like that, I take care of pectate. All right, I look at it this way. The average person lives to be 80 years old. This guy that died was probably around 40. That means that you're going to live to be 120 just to bring the average up to 80, see? Oh, yeah, so, so I am going to live to be 120 years old. That's right. OK. Yeah. Huh. Wow. I wonder what it'd be like to be that old. <laughs> it's time for the Rock of Land! Workers! <laughs> uh, uh, today's uh, prize is this 5% discount off the regular $150 ticket price to the Possum Lake Historical Museum, <laughs> where our motto is, your value is history. <laughs> OK, I, I cover your uh, things, uh, Ed. OK, Mr. Green, uh, you got 30 seconds to get Animal Control Officer Ed Frid to say this word. Gross. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, all right, Mike. Yeah, go. Uh, OK, Ed. Uh, how would you describe what you see a lot in your job as animal control officer? Ah! <laughs> no, 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 okay, uh, okay, no. No, I'm talking about, like, roadkill. You see a dead raccoon in the road, what's that called? Justifiable homicide. <laughs> no, okay, okay. Let's say that my income was $100,000 before expenses. That would be my something income. Fabricated income, <laughs> yeah. No, okay, okay. When Hollywood makes a movie, what do they expect to be really big? The oh, implants. <laughs> no, okay, no, okay, no, okay. When you have twelve eggs, you have a dozen. But when you have twelve dozen eggs, you have a frat party. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're almost out of time, Mr. Yeah. Green. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, I want you to envision old man Sedgwick skinny dipping. What do you see? Shaved albino weasel? <laughs> no, no, but remember you ran over a weasel last year with your lawnmower? Remember that? Uh, yeah, actually, I spent a year in therapy trying to forget. Thank you, Red. Okay, okay, okay. But when you went to clean it up, it was just too... Much work. <laughs> I figured, you know, I'd just wait until the grass grows over it. It's in there. I heard it. too because today is our Santa Claus parade and I, men just love being in parades you know you get to drive a weird vehicle you're the center of attention and you never have to stop and ask for directions <laughs> you wanted to see me Red? yeah, uh, yeah. And, uh, we got the sleigh all ready to go now we just need you to rustle up some reindeer to pull it so how many do you think you're gonna need well uh, who gets to be Santa this year Moose Thompson oh Moose is a pretty wide load yeah. eh? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll need about 20 reindeer. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna have to hide moose from the reindeer because, man, them reindeer, are like, they're like skittish, you know? Well, well, you would know, Ed, you know. Okay, I'll be back in an hour with the reindeer. All right, oh, great. Yeah. and uh, I'll need about 100 guys to help me get them out of the back of the truck. 100 guys? That's a little overkill, isn't it? Red, what? in the animal control business, there is no such thing as overkill. <laughs> You know, I, I heard you wanted to see me. No, I didn't. No, I didn't see you. No, no. I just thought maybe I could help out planning with the parade or something, you know? You know what? We got it covered here. We're fine. Oh, yeah. oh good. Yeah. Good. Good. Yep. Yeah. We're good. So, so, what, so, so what sort of things are Santa throwing out to the kids? Well, his hand, he's going to wave. <laughs> no, it's a parade. Santa has to toss, like, treats or something out to the kids. Well, okay, we'll dig up some old fishing lures. <laughs> no. No, I don't think so, no. Well, okay, you know what, go see Dalton. Maybe he's got something in his store that he could give you to throw to the kids, huh? Okay, Mr. Yeah. Humphrey? Yeah. I sure hope he's in the Christmas spirit. Oh, sure he will be. Just make sure you tell him it's a tax write-off. <laughs> Just over at Moose Thompson's house, helping him get into his Santa outfit. My golly, he, he, is a, he is a large man, you know I mean? <laughs> it's a stretchy material, so we could actually get it on over his butt, but we're gonna have to grease the inside of the sleigh, or he'll have to stand for the whole parade. <laughs> Uncle Red, yeah. would you tell Mr. Humphrey that his offering is no good? You want me to give you something free so that Santa can toss treats to the kids in Red? There is a limit to what I can do. And what is that limit, Dalton? Seven cases of prunes. <laughs> yeah, but they're pitted prunes, so no one's gonna lose an eye or anything. Well, don't you have, like, little airplanes or stuffed toys to toss out to the kids? Well, yes. Yes, I do. I sell them. That's how I support myself. And that's how I'm able to give away things for free! Like, seven cases of prunes. <laughs> of course, if you don't want them. No, 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 no. We'll take them, Dalton. All right. I'll leave him beside the shed. Good. Prunes? Prunes. Get over it, Harold, all right? Well, uh, I, got, yeah. I got some bad news, Red. I could only get four reindeer. Well, no, that's, that's fine. Four, I'll get the job done. Four's fine. Not with Moose Thompson in the sleigh. Oh. In fact, I won't allow it. No, no, no. There's nothing meaner than a reindeer with a hernia. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. Well... What, what do we do now, guys? Well, obviously, we have to find somebody smaller than Moose Thompson, but who still looks like Santa Claus. <laughs> Boy, the snow is really coming down. <laughs> now, we're having the Santa Claus parade right after the launch, but, you know, I'm hoping the reindeer can find their way through that blizzard. Yeah, you know, I think it's a good thing you being Santa. Yeah. Maybe it'll rub off. Yeah. 
You know, you might be right. I'm already thinking of jamming something down your stocking. Red, Red, we got a serious problem. What, you see a mouse or something? No, the reindeer ate all the prunes. <laughs> my car <laughs> that was seven cases of prunes there's no way i'm standing in the sleigh behind them <laughs> well, come on. maybe you can stand in the back of the possum van you'll we'll open the side door you can still wave at the kids yeah okay but I'm, i i need a chauffeur oh right what are we gonna get well harold if you're so doggone bright won't you drive my van tonight <laughs> And I'll go down in history. <laughs> Meeting time, Santa. Yeah, you go ahead, Rudolph. I'll be right down. Huh? <laughs> Good luck with that nose. If my wife was watching, I'll be coming straight home after the meeting. And uh, why don't you do me a favor? Clean out the fireplace. I'm dressed as Santa. Harold's driving the van. Pretty good chance we're going to end up on the roof somewhere. <laughs> the rest of you, thanks for watching. On behalf of myself and Harold and the whole gang up here at Possum Lodge, have yourself a great Christmas and keep your stick on the ice. Come on, you guys. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Everybody sit down. Meeting's coming to order. Sit down, please. Sit down. All right. Quando omni flunkus mortis. Sit down. All right, men. Bow your heads for the man's prayer. I'm a man, but I can change. If I have to, I guess. Okay, man, listen, we got a pretty good blizzard going on out there, and the reindeer have eaten a fair whack of prunes. So, you really want to be careful. There's lots of things to slip on. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Merry Christmas, guys. Come on, Harry. strange week up at the lives this week. Lloyd Carson passed away. Yeah, that's pretty much how the rest of us felt about it, too. <laughs> Lloyd is a weird guy. He's a, one of those military nuts, always dressed for combat, you know? He was married four times, maybe that explains it. <laughs> I always got along okay with Lloyd as long as he'd taken his medication. <laughs> this actually was Lloyd's musket, but it's ours now. See, because uh, the bank has seized his property because of debts being owed there, but they said, any lodge member can go over and take any piece of junk they want, as so long as they get it off the property. It's fantastic. Uncle Red! Uncle Red! Oh! What? Did, you, oh did, did you steal that musket from a dead guy? <laughs> shame on you! Shame on you! Harold, it's not stealing when the bank does it, okay? It's called meeting your fiduciary responsibility. <laughs> you don't even know the meaning of that word. Fiduciary? No, responsibility. <laughs> and fiduciary. Harold, all I know is the bank just wants the house and the land, and they told us we can have anything else that we find as long as we remove it from the property. Wow. <laughs> I still think it's wrong. I still think Lloyd was a weird guy. You could find all sorts of dangerous stuff over there. You know, maybe you should come over, eh? Kind of pick around. You might be able to find yourself a life. <laughs> We got big trouble over at the Carson place. What? Well, the water tasted funny, so we shone a light down the well, and you'll never guess what we saw when we looked down there. Stinky Peterson? <laughs> no, a missile. What? A missile, Red, pointing straight up at us. Oh, no! Oh, no! We're all gonna die, and I've never been with a woman! <laughs> There's nothing to worry about, Harold. There's nothing dangerous going on. The missile's not any problem at all. We'll just hoist her out of there, no sweat. Red, it's a missile. Well, so what? Those things don't just go off. <laughs> Now it's time to 
play the Possum Lodge word game. Today's winner will receive a coupon for three tanning sessions at the Portis Bestus Leather Factory. Okay, cover your ears. Red, you have 30 seconds to get Ranger Gord to say this word. Fire. Fire! All right, Ed. And go. Okay, Gord, this is something that's very hot. Oh, Connie Stevens. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, there's an expression. Where there's smoke, there's... Cheech and Chong. <laughs> no. Okay, okay. When you were in your tower and lightning hit your forest, what did you get? Crispy nose hairs? <laughs> Okay, okay, no. This is the one thing that's destroying all of our forests. Yeah, too much urine. <laughs> Almost out of time, Red. Yeah. Okay, okay, Gord, remember when that forest was burnt to the ground up by Rock Reef Point? What happened there? Yeah, right. The uh, forest ranger fell asleep. <laughs> for a month. You know, for a while there, I thought they were going to fire him. Hey! <laughs> Come on up here, Harold. Yeah, okay. You know, Uncle Red, you should wear these uh, welding goggles, you know, for safety and that kind of thing. Okay. Uh no thanks, Harold. Oh, okay. What's with all the jumper cables? Well, Lloyd never paid his electric bill, so he's got no power over there, so we're going to actually ignite the missile from Possum Lodge Mission Control right here. <laughs> Okay, Red, it looks like it's all systems go. Okay, great, great. Harold, you take this jumper cable. I want you to go to that terminal at the far end there, because I can't reach both terminals, so it takes two guys to light this candle, baby. Oh, wow! Yeah. It's like the real deal. You know where those two guys have to turn the keys at exactly the same time? Yeah. Well, I'd like to do everything by the book. You know that, Harold, huh? This is so cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing it, but it's so cool. All right, Ed, here. You do the honors, Harold. You go do the countdown, okay? Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Watch yourself. Okay. Watch yourself. Watch, that. Watch okay. that. Okay, easy there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go. Oh, all right. All right, initiating final countdown sequence to launch. Ten minutes in counting. Nine minutes and 59 seconds. Harold, just start in ten seconds, will okay, you please? Okay, initiating revised final oh, countdown to launch. Ten seconds. Oh. Nine. Harold, forget it. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. We have liftoff! Oh, baby. Uh, uh, yeah! Oh, oh, go back. What? I don't think the manhole cover absorbed 95% of the force. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Harold? The fishnet caught in the rafters. Just like I planned. <laughs> Meaning time. You go ahead, Harold. I'll be right down, all right? <laughs> and if my wife is watching, I'll be coming straight home after the meet. Kind of hoping we can put an end to our own personal Cold War. I, I'm certainly ready to lay down my arms. <laughs> and to the rest of you, thanks for watching. On behalf of myself and Harold and the whole gang up here at Possum Lodge, keep your stick on the ice. for the man's prayer. I am a man, but I can change if I have to, I guess. Okay, guys, well, we got the missile off of Lloyd's property, but we got a little repair work to do on the roof. And the lodge itself, apparently. 